Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can use the weekday function with an if function to create a dynamic wages spreadsheet. So for example, if I change the date on this to the 23rd, say, which is a weekend, 23rd, that is a Saturday. Now that has split this nine hours of work into rate one and rate two. So half and half. If I change that date to a, the 24th, which is a Sunday, all of that is going to switch into rate two, like double time or triple time, whatever you get for Sundays. So that's the hours worked. And then you've got the normal breakdown here. Anything over whatever you set to be the default hours. So it could be eight or 7.5. So Thursday, for example, if I do nine hours, that is eight hours at normal pay and one hour at overtime rate one. If you do 10 hours on Friday, the same thing works. It breaks it down into eight hours normal pay and two hours overtime pay. So how does this work? Now let's get some dates on the screen. So if I just put today's date there and let's have a look at the weekday function so equals week day open the bracket click on the cell that's got the date in it close the bracket click the tick or press enter whichever you want to do and then that's how the weekday function works and it basically tells you what day of the week this is so 26 is a tuesday so if i put that to the 24th the way this is set up at the moment that is one you can change this format so it starts at a different day if you want but basically the sunday is a one and therefore a friday so if i put this to friday so that'd be the 22nd that'll be a six and the 23rd will be the saturday which will be the end of the week the way this is set up by default and a seven so you can use those numbers to create a little table and then uh, move things along depending on the results. So let's try and replicate some of this information. So if I just copy this title across the top there, just move these over here. So let's say we've got, I need the date as well, so let's move that one. So I'm just using my control key to copy that, if you're wondering how I did that. So if I put two days date in there, so we've got a date, just double click to widen that, and then the hours, now I've had the hours, the hours here are, are basically just um, typed in. So I need to insert a column there, don't I, for the actual hours. So I'll just call that hours. So let's say on, you did nine hours. So on normally, on a normal day, that's not formatted as a date, so let's change that to date. In fact, I'll copy the format from over here. Copy the painter. Widen that again, so it does me the, the the date, the day and the date. So I'm doing nine hours, and let's just make this all nice and pretty with the borders. So I'm doing nine hours. I want eight of the hours to sit in this column, and I want the other hour to sit in rate one. So weekday, remember, will give me a number. So I need to say if anything's over eight hours, it goes here. And then this will put it into the second column. So let's have a look at this one then. I need to use an if and or function first off. So it's going to be equals if open bracket or open bracket and then the weekday function. So if weekday L2 is equal to one comma and weekday or weekday L2 is equal to seven. That's the or, close the or bracket, comma. So that's the weekend, because I want a different thing to happen at the weekend. So if that's true, do nothing, zero. Otherwise, we're going to have eight hours going in this column. Check that, click the tick, and that puts eight hours in there, normal. So now what we need to do in there is just work out what's going to go in there if it's over and over over eight so eight's the standard so obviously they've got one hour overtime to come in here 
So we need to do a formula there that's going to work out that. And because I'm going to do the weekend as well, so we're going to have to add, add stuff onto that one. So I've just pasted the formula that I'm going to use so you can see it as it sits there. because It's quite a long one. So what I want to happen is, if this is more than 8, I want the overtime rate 1 to go in there. So 1 hour should appear in here. But if it's, this is a Saturday or Sunday, I want it to be slightly different. So if it's a Saturday, I want this four, this this here moving between these two. So this should say 4.5, 4.5. And if it's a Sunday, if that's a Sunday, I want that to say, in this case, 9. So let's see how this works. Let's see if we can do this one. So start off equals if, open the bracket. So if weekday... And it's not A2 this time, it's going to be that cell, L2. So I just copied that from the other side. Equals 7, which remember 7 is Saturday. Then I want it to, it says E2 there, but I want it to be not E2. I want it to be this, M2 divided by 2. Divide by 2, comma. And then this is a nested if, another if. So if weekday, open the bracket, L2 again, close the bracket, is equal to 1, which is a Sunday, comma, do nothing, 0. And then, so I'm up to this stage here. So now what I need to do is do an if all, and then I can do this little sum there. Now, let's do that one. So if, open the bracket, or open the bracket, weekday is that one, L2 again, is not equal to 7. So that is a symbol for not equal to. And or weekday, L2 is not equal to 1. Close that bracket. We want this minus that. And then we close in the brackets at the end. One, one, one two, three. Click the tick, see what we get. A typo. I've missed something out there. Close bracket on that one. Let's just check that. And there's another one there, comma. If all, L2 bracket, 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 tick. So that's got a, a one in it. That's okay. So next one, in this cell, I want a different formula. What I need to put in this column is this formula, which is going to, if it's a 1, which is a Sunday, the whole of the hours, 9, goes in there. If it's a Saturday, you want half of them to go in there and half of them to appear in here. So let's just try doing this formula. So in there, equals if, open the bracket, weekday L2 is equal to 1. So if the week L2 is equal to 1, that's just going to be M2, the whole hours. And then we do another if, so it's a nested nested if. So if weekday L2 is equal to 7, which means it's a Saturday, you're looking at M2, which is the hours, and you're dividing it by 2. And then 0, nothing, and then close the two brackets. So that should work. Let's try that. Typo equals one. That's so we missed that out. I did press one, didn't like it. So that's come out with zero, which is good. Now, if I change this to Sunday 24th, nine hours goes in there. If I change it to Saturday 23rd, 4.5, 4.5, that's good. And if I change it to Friday the 22nd, it's 
back to doing that. So basically what this is now going to do, Monday to Friday, it's going to just put any overtime over your, over your whatever your baseline is, in this case, eight hours. Anything over eight hours is going to go into rate one. And if you're working on Saturday, whatever your hours are, are going to be split between rate one and rate two. And if you're working Sunday, whatever your hours are, is going to go straight into rate two. So that's all I wanted to do in this little video. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. And I'll catch you on the next one.